foreign travel firms are charging up to £9,000 to shoot deer in Woburn Abbey Deer Park. And that has shocked a lot of locals. It's shocked a lot of animal welfare groups as well. And people like Chris Luffingham from League Against Cruel Sports, who's with us now alongside uh, deer stalker uh, Charlie... Jacoby. Jacoby, that's it. Charlie Jacoby, who says it's a genuine hobby and no one is actually committing a crime. Um, Chris, when you see the footage of the elephant, I mean, I think a lot of people are very distressed by that. I think people will be very shocked to learn that anything like that is happening in this country. We all assume any kind of trophy hunting is being done in Africa and lions and elephants. Um, not here. No, absolutely. I think people would be absolutely horrified that this is happening in our, in our country, on our shores. Um, this is something that we are rightly uh, horrified at when we see po uh, photos on Facebook and we see photos on Instagram of people going out and shooting animals um, and posing with giraffe and lions and tigers. We think that's horrific. Mm. Um, I think very, very few people would know that this is happening on our own doorstep. And you discovered this because this is being advertised on travel, foreign travel websites, saying, come to Britain, come to Woburn Deer Park mm -hmm. and pay, is it £9,000? £9,000. To tanks. shoot a red deer. To bag yourself a stag head. And take the antlers yep. home with you. Charney, uh, increasingly this is becoming more socially acceptable and you got to see things like that video footage that was doing the rounds about the elephant. It's a very strange one. That, that particular elephant footage looks absolutely ghastly. I mean, you look at that and you look at that fat, self-satisfied hunter and, you, and I'm, I'm here to defend him. Um, the reason to do it is the same reason we've had for 150 years, the reason Woburn Abbey was set up as a deer park. Um, it's to uh, produce a sustainable, managed population of deer. All the deer you see out of your windows, you drive around the countryside or look out of trains, are all managed one way or another. A few of them badly managed, most of them very, very well managed in this country. So this is, you mean culling? So you would the, yeah, need this to is cull, culling, so yeah, they exactly. don't overpopulate. So what we, we take a, a slice off that every year, because every year they're going to grow up and, and fill yeah. that space. And if you don't, and Chris can tell you about this, because League Against Cruel Sports was responsible for this as well, if you don't do it, then you end up with uh, deer dying of disease but, in front of you. So but I think, I think a lot of people would say, Charlie, though, why can't it be done more humanely? Why can't you take them away? Why, as we saw with the elephants there, the other animals are grieving, the other animals are feeling pain, the other animals have witnessed this murder as well, and there you see the reaction from the other animals. OK, I think murder's a bit strong. I mean, we're into a whole that area... Was that elephant was murdered. Yeah, but me. we've got sentience and we've got uh, uh, empathy and we've got consciousness. There's a lot of words which I'm not qualified to talk about. But uh, with that, in that situation, yes, it looks absolutely ghastly. I completely agree with you. It's not, it's not terribly British to go... Um, trophy hunting these days. It's much more American, German, Danish. I mean, there are a few people who do it over here, but, but it, you know, are there Americans who, who... Chris is laughing, he's lucky, because the animal rights lot have a consensus in what they think. You know, all animals are cuddly, that's it. It's very difficult to... Well, let's, get, let's, come, back, let's come back to, to Chris. So, Charlie is saying this is just herd management. You know, we want to, to no. protect these species, and some of them were endangered at some point. Uh, somewhere like Woburn Deer Park are managing their herd, and to manage their herd, you need to cull so they don't overpopulate. How would you answer that? Uh, let's be clear. This isn't culling. This is trophy hunting, pure and simple. They're breeding deer and they're shooting deer. And if this is population control, stop breeding them. This has got nothing to do with culling and it's really convenient to try and tie these two arguments together, but they're not, they are separate issues. This is trophy hunting, pure and simple. So why are they breeding? I mean, that's a, that's a good point Chris makes. If you, if, you, if you don't breed them, you don't need to cull them, do you? Uh, they well, no, no, they, they, un unfortunately, wild animals just breed by themselves. You, it's, it's difficult to stop them. Um, so in the Woburn situation, I mean, thank goodness for Woburn, because they were the ones who, who saved the pair David Deer, which is one of the animals on the list for trophy hunting. And they've now sent uh, a population back to China. There are now 700 pair David deer in China where they came from, whereas before they were extinct. And they've been culling de deer there and advertising them for sale uh, in exactly this way for 150 years. Where it's does suddenly the money go, Charlie? So I mean, on, on the website, it was something, they were charging £9,000. So most... To advertising to come over and, and kill a pair... Do you pair do you? Pair David. Pair David. Father David. Fairly French. rare breed of deer. But, well, it is very rare, except this is, this is where they, this is where they okay. all come from. So where... Will that £9,000 go to? To the travel company? To Woburn so, Deer Park for conservation? Where does it end up? 
So the, the point about, um, in my management situation, I've got a uh, deer which I have to cull every year and bring my, bring my population to the, the Exmoor, right shape. That? Uh, that's right, yeah. down in the West Country. Surely what he has to realise is the tide is turning socially. The way it is unacceptable to smoke, it is un unacceptable to see animals being killed, shot, in, in such a way, with no ch there's no competition in it, is there? Well, look at no, that. Let, let's hear from Chris here. This is, this is a deer park um, that is there specifically so that people can shoot at deer. Uh, who's got the biggest wallet gets to choose grade A, grade B, grade C, the management grade. This isn't culling of deer. This is uh, trophy hunting. And it's as simple as that. And you're right. People are absolutely horrified by this. Um, and I think people will be absolutely shocked to discover that a, that a very well-known name like Woburn can't even be on the sofa to defend their actions. Although they say it's all complicated, they say it's nothing to do with the safari it's park. It's nothing to do with the safari whatever. park, it's, it's a, a different an management. an offshoot of whatever, it's whatever. the same company that owns the Deer Park, the Deer Farm and Woburn Safari Park. They're three separate companies, they're all interlinked. And uh, it's very, very clear from the website to make mm. those. Yeah. I think so, as well, uh, um, Charlie, that people possibly would understand the culling side. If you used a vet to but do it. But it's the trophy side well, of someone we... taking the antlers away and putting them on their wall. Yes, I, I, I do get that it's quite difficult for people to understand. I keep trophy, um, I keep antlers on my wall. I, I don't really understand why. This just goes back to something in, in my past. Can we just look at the Africa thing? Because that's quite important. Although what that fat hunter was doing was pretty ghastly to look at, um, the, in Namibia, particularly, um, it goes back into the community through an organisation called NAXO. And you have wildlife winners and wildlife losers in Africa. The hunting countries are the wildlife winners. They've got all the wildlife. The anti-hunting countries like Kenya are the wildlife losers. They're losing all that. They're becoming a zoo. They're fencing in their national parks. So um, some of Chris's lot whispered in the ear of the president of Botswana about five years ago and said, you should ban hunting, which they did. Botswana became a basket case, certainly in the central area of Botswana, for wildlife. Uh, and now somebody's whispered in the ear from our side and said, you need to bring it back. We're going to lose all your animals. And thank goodness he is. So let's bring it back well, to well, you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Ruth. Well, hold on. Stop. There's a lot of response to yeah. all of this. Um, Daniel says, I'd happily participate in this. Millions of cattle are killed every week. You can't be a meat eater and complain about this, knowing that in some way you too are contributing to an animal being killed. Chris, what would you say about that? This is, these are two separate arguments. But just to come back to your kind of trophy hunting in Africa and, and, and where and how governments are turning away from this and their animal wildlife losers. Cecil the lion. Yeah. $55,000 to a shot, Cecil yeah. the lion. The lodge keeper down the road said, actually, we earned that much from this group being here photographing Cecil the lion in a week. Yeah. It's estimated they would have raised $1 million mm -hmm. by Cecil being alive. Mm -hmm. $55,000, Cecil's dead, mm -hmm. gone, completely gone. And these animals are going, they're not, I mean, I know, I know Charlie keeps saying about, you know, overbreeding and whatever, but there are not surely more it's ridiculous. lions, tigers, yes, elephants, it's that's absolutely more than ridiculous. ever before. It's, it's the same that's, argument. That's how it works. It's the well, argument of using, animals, so let's, let's introduce more bullfighting to control the bull population. Okay. But it suddenly gives you an interest in, in the population. So in, in Africa, unfortunately in Africa, uh, it's all about the money. So if you have got an animal it's worth something to be mm. hunted, then the local population will look after it. But if you don't mm -hmm. have hunting, then the locals will snare it or poison it because it'll be eating their okay. crops. But you would accept, Charlie, that the only problem there was for most people in the elephant video was that the elephants didn't actually trample the hunters. I, I, that's, that's a very strange thing, this idea that the elephants should be fighting back. That, that's, that's not part... OK, the thing that I'd offended me about that was uh, the fact it's a fat American who wants to put an elephant on his wall. OK, I, I don't like that very much, but I'm not going to judge America very badly for being like that. That's what they're like. The, you know, the Chinese have a completely different hunting culture as well. That's why I say we're not going to build a consensus in world hunting here, but what we can do is just make the point that management helps wildlife. But you would say, Chris, is not in our backyard. Wherever they're doing it, uh, which is bad enough, you don't think it should be done in the UK? Of course it shouldn't. I mean, yeah, it's absolutely it shocking that it's being happening in the UK. OK.